What's up guys, I bought a whole bunch of Cat5e Ethernet cables at different lengths starting at 3 feet or just under a meter going all the way up to 300 feet or right around 91 meters and I'm going to see if cable length makes a difference during the speed test and during the packet drop test. So I will be using iPerf3 this time around to do these tests. Let's get started. So we're going to focus on local speed test using iperf3 on my windows machine i'm going to set it up as a server so i typed in iperf3-s acting as the server and on the mac machine so i'm going to switch over the hdmis this is where i'm going to kick off the test so currently i have the three foot cable which is again around a meter hooked up cat 5e and let's actually kick off the Let's actually kick off the test. So I, I basically said iperf3-c, which I'm acting as the client. This is the IP address I'm connecting to, which is my Windows machine. Uh, time, I set it to 7, and I set the rate up to 10 Gs. So we're getting right around 9.4, basically slightly over 9.4 uh, gigabits per second. Now, if I switch over to the server side which is the Windows machine, you'll see that I pretty much got the same thing right here. So 7.67 gigabytes were transferred at a rate of 9.4 gigabits per second. So one byte is equal to eight bits. Okay, so we pretty much got, you know, 9.4, which is very fast. And now we're going to do a UDP test. And we're gonna set that to 10 gigs. We have the UDP, which is gonna show us if there's packets that are being dropped. We're gonna go in at full 10 gigs. Let's see what happens. So the speeds are much slower at 5.6 gigabits for the UDP packets, and there's a 26% loss. Again, if I go to the other machine, my Windows machine, we see the same info here, basically a 26% loss as you guys could see right here. Now 26% is quite a bit of loss. So what we're gonna do is we're going to limit the speeds and see if we can, so at five gigs it was dropping, Let, let's actually just cap it to five. Let's see what happens at five. Let's see if there's any uh, packet losses. Okay, so we're down to 13%. Ideally, you kind of want to be under 2%, uh, and, and it really kind of depends what you're doing. Even up to 5% is probably fine for some stuff, but ideally you want to be under 2%, and under 1% is really, really good. So let's limit the speeds to 4 gigs per second, and let's see what the packet loss is here using the cat 5 e cable. Okay, so we're at 2.9. We're getting to those more acceptable levels, and let's try... Let's limit it to three gigs per second. So this is where we almost get no loss. So 0.36, these are, at this point, it's already excellent. If I drop it down to two, let's see what happens with two. Two gigabits per second. Okay, almost, almost no loss, 0.004%. And if I drop it down to one, to gigabit speeds. It's funny, there was actually more of a drop at gigabit than there was at, at uh, two gigabits per second. But I mean, at these numbers, these are negligible. So UDP is different. U UDP, I think, stands for User Data Datagram Protocol. I think that's what it stands for. Okay, so we got down to 0.02. So from all of these that were from 604,000 that were sent, 12 were dropped, which is fantastic. So UDP is much faster than TCP. Uh, so it's, it's okay for things to drop because the next one will just be sent. Uh, but once you get to enough drops, then things become, you know, usually one under 1% 1 is really, really good for you know, like voice over IP or streaming, things like that, that's really good. Uh, even up to like 2%, it's probably okay. Uh, and for some stuff, it could be a little bit higher, but like the 22%, that is not good at all. All right, so now I have the 15 foot cable, which is around four and a half meters. 
So doing a speed test on this, we're getting 9.4. So right around the same speeds as the shorter cable. Now let's, let's actually let's leave this at 10 and let's just pick a port. So let's see how much of a drop there is. Again, it's being capped to, you know, five point, basically 5.6. So 21% drop, which is pretty bad. So let's drop it down to, I think the results are gonna be pretty similar. So I'll drop it down to four and then I'll do it to three. And let's see what happens. Okay, so actually at four gigabits, this one, 1.3% 1 loss, which is not bad at all. So that's actually not bad at all. And let's try it at three gigabits. So we're limiting the speeds to three gigabits per second. Okay, 0.37. So already at three gigabits, you're golden. Un under 1% is really, really good. Let's try it at two. All right, so like 0.005%, that's, that's, like, that's pretty much amazing at that point. And let's try it at one. Yeah, so 0 0.001. So from the 604,000 packets that were sent, 11 were dropped, which is fantastic. All right, so now we're on the 35 foot cable. Let's just do a normal speed test. In fact, I'm gonna drop this down to five just to speed things up a bit. I mean, the longer you put it, the better it is, but let's just keep it at five just to make it a little bit quicker. So, okay, so we pretty much got 9.4 down and uh, let's do the packets. So 6,001, let's see how many packets were dropped. Okay, 26%. Let's let's up the time to 7. Let's see if it makes a difference for the for the losses. Okay, so it was a little bit better with with 7. Um so let's limit this thing to 4. Again, it was capped to 5.6 anyways. So capping it to 4. So at four, it's 1.6, so it's already, at four gigabits, it's already really good. At three gigabits, let's see what we get at three gigabits. So this is already very usable, 0.28, and pretty much the, the, the rest are gonna follow just like with the, with the shorter cables. So if I do two, it's gonna be like 0, 0.00 something, where it's, it's such a small loss that it, it doesn't even matter at that point. Yeah, 0 0.007, and gigabit's gonna be even, even less. Okay, yeah, so I, it was actually a little bit more with gigabit. All right, so we got the 50 foot connected, let's do 10G. Let's, let's remove this limitation. And yeah, we're pretty much getting 9.4, roughly around there. So roughly around the same speeds. Well, it started off with the 5.7 initially. So let's do it again. The 5.7 slowed down the rest, but yeah, I was expecting it to be right around this 9.4. So even at 50 feet, which is around 15 meters, we're still good there. And um, let's put the, let's check the packets. Just to some random port right there that I'm just picking randomly. So the rest had like pretty, okay, so 21%, still a lot. You don't, you don't want that much, that's, that's too much. Let's limit it to four. That, that is such a high amount. 21% uh, is terrible. 1.4%, now, now again, you're in usable land. So again, this is very, very similar to the shorter cables, pretty much getting right around the same, roughly within the ballpark of the same um, packet losses 0.21 at three these, these like under one is, you are golden for most stuff I mean ideally you want to be at zero but you know 
and then at gigabit, let's see what happens here. So, okay, so getting less and less basically. All right, so I got the 100 foot hooked up, which is around 30 meters. And, uh, oh, there was, oh, there's some, there's some boo-boos here. We got 8.26 on average. Let's run it again. Okay, it's back up. Maybe because it was still detecting it, I should have gave it a second. Okay, so let's just run it one more time just to make sure the first one was a boo-boo. Yeah, pretty much getting the almost, uh, almost to the 10 gig speeds. Okay, now let's check our packets. So dash U, some random port. See what happens. Let's see how many how many packets we lose. 25%, quite a bit. Let's limit our guy to four. So you can see every time I lowered, obviously because it's transferring at a slower speed, it's transferring less megabytes. So the first one it transferred 4.6, but it only got 3.46. And this time I transferred 3.26, it got 3.23. Again, under a 1% loss. So already at four, this is pretty good. And again, the, the results are very, very similar with all the other ones, with all the, all the shorter ones, getting roughly around the same. Let's do two. And okay, so already at two gigs, it's 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 such a minor thing to have that many packet loss that it's it you're 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 golden at that point. Okay, and this is one gig was even like point zero 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 six six, so pretty good for the hundred foot cable. So we got the two hundred foot connected, which is around sixty one meters. Let's run a speed test. This one this one should be a lot slower. Okay, while well, the other ones were getting the 9.4, at this point now we're getting 4.7. So 4.7 is our is our max. And let's try let's try let's try to see what happens with the packets. Wow, this one wasn't too bad at 4.68, but the other ones, the slower ones were transferring at a at a faster rate. Uh, not that 11% is good. 11% is not good. That's a lot. But I guess maybe because this initial speed was actually slower. So let's, let's do it to four. Let's see what happens here. It should be much better. Okay. Yeah. 2.2. 2.2 is already pretty good. Not, not, not amazing, but pretty good. And slowing it down to three gigabits per second. Yeah, 0.27. So already at three gigabits per second, it's it's very, very fast. At two gigabits per second, if we were to limit this stuff, it would be 0.012. And finally at a gigabit, should be right around there. So at, at 0.012, it's already amazing. Okay, this is even slower. From 604,000 packets, two were dropped. That's very, very, very good. Add gigabit speeds. And we have the 300 foot connected. It took a while for this thing to connect. So about 45 seconds for this thing to connect. So let's see how fast it is without checking for packet losses. So getting 4.7. So very similar to the 200 foot cable, the 61 meter cable. All right, let's, let's check for UDPs now. Let's pick a port. So let's see how many packets were dropped. 13%, wow, that's actually, yeah, actually it was pretty similar to the 200 foot. And again, because these speeds are slower, it caught me off, it caught me off guard for a second. I was like, oh, that's not bad, but then, yeah, these are actually slightly slower than the than the shorter cables. So if we do it to four, it's gonna be much less. And if we do it less and less, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna continue to get better. 3.2, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 
Let's do uh, three. And you could see like how many gigabytes were transferred versus how many at the, the okay, let's just look at this one. So 2.4, 2.44 gigabytes were transferred at a rate of three gigabits per second. So again, one byte is equal to eight bits. And so there was hardly a loss here. So 180, oh, that's not even 181. Yeah, 1 point, yeah, 1 1.8 million packets were sent of which 6,000 were dropped. So 0.33 at three gigabits. If we limit it to two gigabits, this should be even smaller. Yeah, it is smaller, 0.012. And let's see what, what happens if we limit it to gigabit speeds for CAF5e. Okay, so hardly any drops. So 56 packets were dropped from 604,000, which is not bad at all. That at that point, like whatever you're doing that's using UDP should be fine. So to summarize, 100 feet or 30 meters and less got very similar speeds with all the CAT 5e cables. They're all very fast. The packet losses, we saw those numbers. So all had very, very similar performance. And then the 200 foot and the 300 foot cables, which are the 61 meters and 91 meter cables, those got very similar results to each other. So they couldn't, on the speed test, they couldn't quite get to those full 10 gig speeds. Um, they were getting roughly, they were getting essentially less than five gigabit speeds. So, and then the packet losses between themselves were also pretty similar. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will have more network videos where I'm testing Ethernet cables as well. If you guys have requests, if there are enough requests, just like there was with this one, I will, make, I will try my best to make a video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.